Okay, so question number 10. Is benzoic acid polar? Okay, so first let's write down the structure of benzoic acid. Let's just break down the name. So benz tells us that there is a benzene group involved. So if we don't remember what benzene look like, looks like, it's a six-membered aromatic carbon ring. So that means there's a double bond in between every other carbon. And when something ends in ic acid, that means there's a carboxylic acid functional group as well. which would look like this. So that tells us that the structure of benzoic acid contains benzene and then a carboxylic acid group attached to it. Okay, so this question uh, can be kind of tricky and the reason for that is that the benzene group is considered nonpolar because all of the carbon and hydrogen uh, groups are like they have similar electronegativities. So there's no dipole moment if we just had a benzene ring on its own. But however, if we look at our carboxylic acid groups, they contain the oxygen-hydrogen and oxygen-carbon bonds, which are polar. So if you were to describe the polarity of benzoic acid, it is considered slightly polar. So it's one of those groups that doesn't really have like a definite answer whether or not it's exactly polar or nonpolar just because it has that large aromatic nonpolar group but it also has polar functionalities but overall um it's not completely nonpolar because we have a non-zero dipole moment in the direction of the more electronegative oxygen atoms. So the junior tutor said that benzoic acid is polar in nature, however, it is only slightly soluble in cold water. Carboxylic acid group is what's making the benzoic acid polar, and the bulk of the benzoic acid molecule is nonpolar due to a large carbon, uh, not really chain, more like a ring. I'll say the solution is correct. Benzoic acid is considered slightly polar since the carboxylic acid group and the large Thank you.